Hey guys and welcome to another video in which I spend my time in lockdown looking at these. Today we're looking at the Panasonic S1 and I went on Amazon and found seven different kinds of batteries that you can get for this camera. There's three that are at the higher end of the tier. We've got the Panasonic official battery that comes with the camera. There's the ha ha hell ha nell. There's the Hanel battery, which other people might have heard of before because they make loads of really good third-party batteries, including these ones you might recognize for the Canon LPE6 replacement batteries. There's the Petona battery, which was the one that was recommended to me as a really good alternative to the Panasonic battery, much cheaper than the original batteries as well. And then there's four pretty dodgy batteries that all kind of seem like they're potentially just the same thing in slightly different packaging. But let's see how they handle our rigorous test. So stage one of the test is a straight up no recording battery test. Now the same battery, this time recording in 4K 10 bit, 25p. And now recording in 8 bit, 50p, 4K. So at the end of the first stage, we can see it's not a huge surprise that those three batteries that are of the higher tier price point do come out uh, about half an hour longer than the other batteries. And the other four batteries all remain in about the same within about 10 minutes variation. Mm -hmm. 
For the second stage of the test, we're now looking at recording internally in camera as well as externally on an Atomos Shogun. We've got similar results here. The three batteries of the higher price point all are performing again slightly better than those four lower tier batteries. And an interesting side note I came across during this test, you can actually tell the camera to show you the remaining percentage of the battery. So I changed that over during these tests and found quite big differences between what the percentage said and how long it stayed on each percentage. And so you can see some stats here for each battery looking at the battery percentage at 99. I thought it was fairer to do 99 rather than 100 in case it wasn't quite at full battery when I plugged it in. Uh, then 50, 10, 5, 1% and then 0%. And actually it's really interesting how long the batteries all seem to last when it's on 0%. It lasts much longer than it does on any other percent that I can see. So it's good to know that if you're in a pinch and you don't have any of the batteries left, when you get down to 0% with some of these batteries, you can actually stay for as long as 10 minutes on 0% and still run. And also good to know that the camera does save the file when it hits that 0% and if the battery switches off because it dies, you will maintain that file. It doesn't get lost or corrupted. Every single time I did this test, the file was always still there on the card. And so for the final section, what I'm calling the out and about test, I took the camera out and really put it through its paces for 90 minutes. It was constantly taking photos, put it in time-lapse, taking burst photos, taking videos, non-stop, changing the settings. So really putting it through its paces and then seeing what the battery percentage was after 90 minutes. So not that surprising that the three batteries that are more expensive do obviously outperform the other batteries. But it's great to know that some of these batteries that are only 16 or 17 pounds actually do do pretty well. You do get a couple of hours out of them. It's not really that far behind those higher tier batteries. So, you know, if you want to save some money and you don't mind having half an hour less runtime, then some of these might be worth a look in. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and let us know what else you might like to see in the future.